The Romanian Navy during World War II was the main Axis naval force in the Black Sea and fought against the Soviet Union's Black Sea Fleet from 1941 to 1944. Operations consisted mainly in mine warfare, but also escort missions and localized naval engagements. The largest naval action fought by the Romanian Navy was the 26th of June 1941 raid on Constanța, and its most extensive operation was the 1944 evacuation of the Crimea. Topic: The Romanian Black Sea Fleet in June 1941. Topic. Operations in the Black Sea Topic. Beginning and main engagement The naval war in the Black Sea commenced with the raid on Constanza on 26 June 1941, the only encounter between major warships during the entire campaign. The Romanian flotilla leader Maristi and the destroyer Regina Maria together with the Minelea Amiral Mergescu defended the port against the Soviet cruiser Voroshilov and the Leningrad-class destroyer leaders Kharkov and Moskva. The Romanian warships were supported by coastal artillery, including the German coastal battery Tur Pits nominally under Romanian command and the Soviet warships by Tupolev SB bombers. The raid was a Soviet failure, only amounting to several fuel tanks set on fire. No Romanian warship was sunk while the Soviet destroyer leader Moskva was lost to a Romanian minefield as she was avoiding fire from the Romanian warships and coastal artillery. Other engagements On 9 July 1941, near the Romanian Black Sea port of Mangalia, the Romanian gunboat Stihi informed the Romanian 250T-class torpedo boat Naluca converted to gunboat and motor torpedo boats Viscolal and Vigalia that the periscope of an enemy submarine was sighted near the harbour. In the ensuing battle, the Soviet Shuka class submarine SHCH-206 was attacked by Naluka, at first with 20 mm rounds and then with depth charges, eventually being sunk with all hands. On the 17th of December 1941, near the Bessarabian coast, the Romanian destroyer Regil Ferdinand, while escorting a convoy of Bulgarian and Hungarian cargo ships, depth-charged and sank the Soviet M-class submarine M-59, after the latter unsuccessfully attacked the convoy with torpedoes. According to other sources however submarine M-59 was lost due to mines earlier that date, on 1 October, the Soviet submarine M-118 attacked and sank the German transport ship Salzburg. After attacking, the submarine was located by a German BV 138C flying boat, and the Romanian gunboats Sublocotinant Giculescu and Stihi Eugen were sent to the scene. The two Romanian warships attacked the submarine with depth charges, sinking her with all hands. Recent surveys in the area failed to find the wreck in the alleged sinking location and it has been raised the alternative version that M118 was lost due German seaplane attack or a Romanian field from barrage S30 Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Evacuation of the Crimea 
The evacuation of the Crimea in April to May 1944 was the most complex and extensive operation of the Romanian Navy during the Second World War. From 15 April to 14 May, numerous German and Romanian warships escorted many convoys between Constanza and Sevastopol. The scale and importance of the operation can be attested by the usage in combat of all four warships of the Romanian destroyer squadron, the largest Axis warships in the Black Sea. The last phase of the evacuation 10 to 14 May saw the fiercest combat, as Axis ships transported, under constant attacks from Soviet aircraft and shore artillery, over 30,000 troops. Of these, 18,000 were transported by Romanian ships. In total, Romanian and German convoys evacuated over 113,000 Axis troops from the Crimea, most of them over 63,000 during the first phase of the evacuation, 15 to 25 April. This achievement earned the Romanian naval commander, Rear Admiral Horia Machilariu, the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross Crusader de Cavala a Cruci de Fier, in Romanian. No Romanian Navy warships were lost during the evacuation, however the destroyer Regil Ferdinand was close to being sunk. She was struck by a large aerial bomb, which fell in her fuel tanks, but failed to detonate. The bomb was extracted several days after the end of the operation. Two naval actions involving the Romanian Navy took place during the second phase of the evacuation the 25th of April to the 10th of May, near Sevastopol. On 18 April, the Soviet Leninets class submarine L-6 was twice attacked with depth charges and damaged by the Romanian gunboat Gikulescu. Numerous bubbles emerged from the depths after each attack, before being finished off by the German submarine hunter UJ-104. During the night of 27 April, a convoy escorted by the Romanian gunboat Gikulescu, the German submarine hunter UJ-115, one R-boat, two KFK naval trawlers and 19 MFPs including the Romanian PTA-404 and PTA-406 engaged the Soviet G-5-class motor torpedo boats TKA-3 332, TKA 343 and TKA 344, after the three attacked and damaged the German submarine hunter UJ-104 never recovered. Gikulescu opened fire with tracer rounds, enabling the entire escort group to locate the two Soviet MTBs and open fire. TKA-332 was hit and sunk. <inaudible> Mine warfare The majority of naval losses, both inflicted and suffered by the Romanian Navy, were caused by naval mines. Days before Operation Barbarossa, between 16 and 19 June 1941, the Romanian Minelayer Amiral Mergescu along with two auxiliary Minelayers laid a barrage of 1,000 mines off Constanza, and it was these mines that would sink Moskva one week later. Throughout the war, the mines laid off Constanza also sank four Soviet submarines SHCH-213, M-58, M-34 and SHCH-208, between 7 and 16 October 1941, Amiral Mergescu along with two auxiliary Minelayers, all three escorted by the Romanian 250T-class torpedo boats 
Maluka, Sabarul and Smail, the Romanian gunboats Sublocontinent Giculescu and Capitan Dumitrescu and the Bulgarian torpedo boats Draci, Smeli and Rabrai, laid four full minefields and one partial minefield along the Bulgarian coast. These mines later sank three four Soviet submarines the S-class S-34 claimed also by Bulgarian mines, L-24, SHCH-210 and SHCH-211. On 9 November 1941, the Romanian motor torpedo boats Vaforul and Vigelia were sunk near Odessa by Soviet mines. On 24 June 1941, 42, Amiral Mergescu along with one auxiliary Minelea laid mines off Odessa, while being escorted by the Romanian destroyers Regil Ferdinand and Regina Maria, the Romanian flotilla leader Marisosti, the Romanian gunboats Giculescu, Stihi and Dumitrescu and the Romanian gunboat Smail X torpedo boat, as well as German motor minesweepers of the Dunau flotilla. The mines laid near Odessa later sank the Soviet submarines M-33 and M-60 and the motor gunboats YA-26 and YA-27 in 1944, on 29–30 October and 5 November 1942, Amiral Mergescu along with one auxiliary Minelea, escorted by the Romanian destroyers Regina Maria and Regil Ferdinand, the Roman Romanian leader Maristi, the Romanian gunboat Stihi and four German R boats laid two mine barrages to protect Snake Island. These mines sank the Soviet submarine SHCH-212 on of December that same year. The Soviet submarine M31 was either sunk as well by the Romanian mine barrages near the island on the 17th of December or sunk by the Romanian leader Marisosti in 1943. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Romanian naval operations in support of Axis land offensives. Topic Operation Munchen. Romanian warships and marines in the Danube Delta supported the Romanian German ground forces during their offensive into Bessarabia at the start of July 1941. Thus, the artillery of the Romanian 17th Marine Infantry Battalion, operating in the Perepravă sector, shelled and sank six Soviet armored motor gunboats. One more armored motor gunboat was sunk at Isakia by the Riverine artillery of a Romanian Marine Infantry Detachment. Naval engagements took place on 13 and 14 July, near the mouth of the Danube, on each day the Romanian monitor Mihail Kogelnishanu engaging and damaging a Soviet monitor, the latter being identified as Udanai. These actions, combined with the Axis ground troops advancing from the north, determined the Soviet Danube flotilla to evacuate the Danube Delta on 18–19 July, allowing the Romanian marines to cross the Chilia branch and occupy southern Bessarabia. <laughs> Siege of Odessa In support of the Romanian-led siege of Odessa, the Romanian Navy dispatched motor torpedo boats to the recently occupied port of Okakiv Oshikov or Vosia in Romanian. Their mission was to harass Soviet communication and supply lines. During the night of 18 September 1941, the motor torpedo boats Vescolil and Vigelia attacked a Soviet convoy south of Odessa, each boat launching her two torpedoes at the closest enemy destroyer. Three of the four torpedoes missed. 
The fourth torpedo hit the Soviet destroyer, but failed to detonate. Topic: <laughs> Crimean Campaign. On 2 November 1941, in support of the German-Romanian troops advancing into the Crimea, the Romanian Navy sent its then only submarine, Delphinal also the only Axis submarine in the Black Sea until late 1942, to carry out a patrol off the Crimean coast. In the early hours of 6 November, the Romanian submarine Delphinol claimed the sinking of the Soviet 1,975-ton cargo ship Urales four miles south of Yalta during only Romanian submarine torpedo attack of the war, however the ship was sunk by Luftwaffe and the torpedo attack missed the Minilea Ostrovsky. The submarine was subsequently attacked by Soviet forces but she followed a route along the Turkish coast and managed to evade up to 80 depth charges, before safely arriving in the port of Constanza on 7 November. <laughs> Romanian naval aviation The most notable achievements of the Romanian naval aviation during World War II were the sinking of two Soviet submarines by a single Z.501 in August 1941, followed by the capture of a Soviet armed merchantman by a group of Heinkels in October. Romanian seaplanes monitored Soviet Navy locations and movements for the Luftwaffe bombers, which, with assistance from Escadrilla 102, extirpated Soviet submarines from the Black Sea by late autumn 1941. A slight defeat came in the autumn of 1943, when AZ.501 was shot down by Soviet ace Grigory Rekkarlov. Conclusion The Axis offensives into the Soviet Union were discontinued after Operation Uranus, which took place between 19 and 23 November 1942, during the Battle of Stalingrad. The Romanian naval units which directly supported the Axis offensives of 1941 and 1942 inflicted significantly more losses than they took in all engagements. The Royal Romanian Navy in 1943 Topic. Fleet strength The Romanian naval forces lost the anti-submarine gunboat Remus Lepri in 1941, during minelaying trials after she was converted to minelaya. The submarine Delphinol started an extensive refit at the end of 1942, which would keep her out of action for the remainder of the war. The modern Romanian-built submarines Rakhinal and Marsunal were completed in 1942 but could not begin their operations until 1944 and come too late to score results. In addition, five Italian-built CB-class midget submarines were temporarily acquired in the autumn of 1943, however only two could be made serviceable before being returned to the Italian RSI naval forces. Seven 25-ton Italian mass motor torpedo boats, each armed with two 350 mm torpedoes, were also acquired in 1943 without being used. These supplemented the existing squadron of seven motor torpedo boats, consisting of the British-built Viscolal and the six Romanian-built Vedinia class vessels. 
Thus, by the end of 1943, the main operational warships of the Romanian Black Sea Fleet amounted to four destroyers, two Regil Ferdinand class and two Maristi class, one minelaying frigate, Amiral Mergescu, four operational submarines, Marsunal, Rakinal and two CB class. Five sea-going ironclads, four Mihail Kogelnishinu class and one Suva class, one sea-going torpedo boat, Sibirul. three anti-submarine corvettes, all Sublocontinent Gikulescu class, two anti-submarine corvettes, Smail and Naluka. 14 motor torpedo boats Vescolol, 6 Vedinia class and 7 Mars 2 minelaying boats both OMM35 class 1 submarine tender Constanza Topic Territorial control Throughout the war, numerous ports along the western and northern shores of the Black Sea were put under the protection of Romanian naval minefields. The following major seaports were protected by Romanian mine barrages by the end of 1943. Topic: <laughs> Aftermath Romania capitulated on 23 August 1944, in the aftermath of a successful Soviet land offensive. On 20 August, the Soviet Air Force carried out a large air raid against Constanza, sinking the Romanian torpedo boat Naluka she was converted to gunboat before the war. Also sunk by Soviet aircraft was the Minelaya Aurora, on 15 July 1941, near Sulina. She was the only Minelaya of the Romanian Navy that was purpose-built and not used for anything else Amiral Mergescu was also employed as a destroyer escort. The old brig Merkia was also sunk during a Soviet air raid on 17 April 1944. Seven 25-ton Italian mass motor torpedo boats, each armed with two 350 mm torpedoes, were also acquired in 1943. Uniquely, in the Second World War, the Romanian Navy was the only navy to fight for over three years without losing a single unit of its main force of destroyers and submarines. Starting September 1944, the Soviet Soviet Navy moved all Romanian warships to Caucasian ports. They were not returned until after the war. The older vessels were received in September 1945, while the more modern ones such as the Regil Ferdinand class were kept by the Soviet Black Sea Fleet until the early 1950s. A number of warships such as Amiral Mergescu were never returned. Topic See also Black Sea campaigns 1941 to 44 List of battles of the Romanian Navy Soviet Black Sea Fleet during the Battle of Stalingrad Naval operations in Romanian-occupied Soviet waters <laughs> <laughs>